Welcome to Solivity.com's passion-driven interviews with founder Brian Wesley Johnson. Each of these carefully curated interviews is all about supporting you and getting inspired to live your best life today. So let's get started. Here's Brian. William Stanford Davis, thank you so much for being here, brother, on Solivity.com. Thank you for having me. So good to see you this morning. Oh, man. It, uh, listen, the pleasure is all ours. Um, listen, we were talking offline mm -hmm. about the fact that we're both Midwesterners. Right. And you were born and raised in St. Louis, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. What was life like growing up in St. Louis? Man, you know, it, growing up in St. Louis, it taught me the, the value of hard work, uh, stick to uh, uh, never giving up, you know, and, and, and then on the other side, man, I had a lot of fun growing up there. I got a lot of friends still there, man, and we, we stay in touch. And they are enjoying uh, my success with Abbott. Um, oh, man. So we kind of take it personally like it's theirs, and I'm glad that they do. Because I feel oh. like uh, if it wasn't for them, uh, you know, that I wouldn't be here, too. They're just as much a part of it as I am. Wow. I mean, like, so you got your tribe with you. Got my tribe. Got my family there. And they... They, it's just a constant, uh, constant support and just constant kudos. Sometimes I got, okay, y'all can stop now. <laughs> yeah. you know, it's all good. It's all love, you know. Absolutely. They're giving you flowers while you're here, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm you glad. know, yeah. now I did, you know, I always do my homework on everybody. Okay. Uh-oh. And uh -oh. we have, yeah, mm -hmm. uh-oh. <laughs> we have something in common that you do not know. Mm-hmm. We were both in bands. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, what was the name of your band? My band was called the Fabulous Paramount Review. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Man, now, that, that definitely sounds like an R&B band. It was an R&B band. We had, we, we, we had a band and we had male singers, like, you know, The Temptations that time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We had female singers similar to The Supremes. Everybody was so talented. And I was a solo artist uh, with the band. And man, uh, uh, it was just a, a big deal. It was a big deal in St. Louis. We opened for a lot of great acts. We opened for the old games and wow. um, so, many, so many acts. Wow, my brain just slipped. <laughs> <laughs> we opened for quite a few men. Uh, it was just, it was my formative years and I just had so much fun and I learned so much. Taught me about it, entertaining. Right. What was your band? The name of my band was called Portfolio. And we would say it just like that. You know how you go, you, the opening, Portfolio, yeah, you yeah. know? Yeah, R&B, um, baby. Yeah. R&B all the way. We we yeah. did all the covers of, you yeah. know, you know, from going back in, in the back in the day, you know, Motown, you got to do some right. Motown cool. stuff yeah. uh, all the way up until, you know, like the new Neo Soul, but back mm. then. Um, but we had a blast, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. It was the, I mean, people, I mean, I guess people don't understand how important that is. Oh, my God. Being up on stage, right? Yeah. yeah. And every and every night. Connecting with the people. And, and and if you're if you're truly entertaining them, they let you know they're having a good time mm -hmm. and having a better time, man. And it for me, it, it taught me to take risks. You know, you know, it taught me to take risks because Anything can happen on stage, and and you have to go with it or try something new, you know. And again, we we were so in tune with one another, we kind of all grew up together that they jump right in with it, you know. Wow. Now, when did you discover the comedic talent part? I'm going to try to connect some dots. Was it like while you were doing the bad thing, maybe you were like opening and doing some things, or well, how I, did that happen? I um. Uh, it's kind of, I loved Richard Pryor. I love watching comics on, 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 I mean, uh, all types of comics. Oh, Alan yes. King, you know, oh, different yes. guys. Ed Sullivan. I, I'm, I'm a little older than you, so I it, know. it was a big part of my household. <laughs> I ain't giving away my household. age now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a baby. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 uh, it was also a survival mechanism also, you know, uh, I, but I just, I fell in love with it. and. Having worked on radio, I worked on radio for, for years. It, it gave me that, and I would open, I would MC 
shows too. And it just, you know, and sometimes you have to think quickly on your feet. Yeah. And I kind of developed a love for it, you know, and and I really uh, fell in love with it. And 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 that was part of the reason I moved to Los Angeles too. I always wanted to be an actor. But the comedy was that driving force, you know. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. What you remember your first gig as a comic? Ooh, wow. I remember the first time I was at, I, I got up in front of a, a house full of people. Yes. Okay. And, and actually, I had a great set. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm reliving it now. <laughs> the belly room at the comedy store, they have the small room and we had just done this this workshop with this uh, lady. Uh -huh. uh, 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 and who teaches people how to do comedy? You know, people like, well, that's not something you can teach. Actually, it is. It teaches you how to how to, to put a premise together, mm -hmm. how to make a setup, how to develop a punchline, mm -hmm. even make things funny. There's still a formula to it. And so we did we did the showcase, and uh, and I killed. I got <laughs> I got last, and I fell in love with it, man. It's like, oh my god, you know. And this guy, uh, I remember Jamie DiGiorgio, He wrote for Arsenio. Wow. He leaned over and he whispered in my ear, he said, it's better than sex, ain't it, Stan? <laughs> <laughs> we, we You're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, you know, depends upon who, right? But, but the laughter, the laughter you got, man, you made people, it, it, it was a, it was orgasmic. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And now you talked about the acting part, right? Right. And what I've read is, and you just said it earlier. Mm -hmm. That that's that was your love, right? So the things that like I'm, I'm trying to build people into seeing this arc, right? So right. you know, you found music, you were in the band, you were on stage. This kind of led you into comedy, and but still not moving in that direction. Right. But what a lot of people don't know is you've been acting for a long time. For quite a while, yeah. I've, I've been blessed to to have been a working actor for quite a while, man. Right. And uh, um, I, I was telling someone earlier uh, in the week, um, I went to Upper Bound in, in St. Louis. I went mm -hmm. to Upper Bound for the summer. I was still in high school, still right. in my band and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I saw the Negro Ensemble Company at the college. They brought him in to do a play. Wow. And, and I fell in love with it. Robert Hooks, uh, Moses Gunn, all mm -hmm. these guys. Mm -hmm. Each, man. And, and I just, I was blown away. Oh my God. Oh, I'd never seen that many black people on stage doing that kind of work ever. Right. It, it just, right. it just, it just touched my heart. And I knew that's what I'm going to do. Wow. No matter what, I don't know how I'm going to get there. I don't know what route to take, but I know that's where, that's my North Star. Now I find it beautifully ironic. Because again, I did my homework on you. <laughs> One of your first appearances on national TV was with The Bold and the Beautiful, right? <laughs> yes. What was your role on The Bold <laughs> and Beautiful? I was a janitor. <laughs> <laughs> I was a janitor. <laughs> no, 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 let me get into that now. You know. <laughs> we'll leave that for the next time. Yeah. You know, we'll dig a little deeper. But I just, you know, it's like, Okay, one of your entrees. And you remember what year that was? Ooh, like 89, 90, yeah. somewhere yeah. around here, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, you know <laughs> work is work. You know, work is work, man. And you want to. Yeah, there is, there's no shame in any of that. None. Yeah. And, and even though, you know, I've had people give me that, oh, stereotypically you were a janitor. No, it was work. It was work. It was work. You know, I wanted to work as an actor. Right. So, and, and man, they shot so fast. Uh, I thought we were doing a rehearsal take. Did they give you a rehearsal take? And, 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 and I thought we were, you know, doing a rehearsal. And they said, moving on. I'm like, what do you mean moving on? I never, you know, I don't remember. He says, oh, you can go home now. You know, I'm like, what? That's, what? You know. Here's a check. Gone. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, you know, I'm like, man, and I so wanted to be there much longer. You know, I just like, oh wow, you know, and uh, uh it, it was great though, man. And, and they do things really fast. You have to, you know, people see soaps. These people get loads of dialogue the night before, and they have to be off book with it the next morning and make it look look like they just it's just 
flowing out of their mouths. That is amazing. I mean, I, I, you know, I mean, I, I, everybody, listen. Go check out William Stanford Davis. Your, your, your bio, your film biography of all the different roles and all the different things that you've done. I mean, uh, some of the latest work um, was in the hit series on what HBO Showtime. Um, yeah. Ray, Ray Donovan. Donovan. Yeah, Ray Donovan. Right. Yeah. I mean, so you know, you look up and you go, "Oh, I didn't know he was in that. I didn't know William yeah. was in that. I didn't know Mr. Yeah. Davis was in that." It's like, yeah, yeah, you've been working for a long time. Well, yeah, uh, do, was five, this six seasons, six seasons of Ray Donovan? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I mean, that's bread, bread and butter, brother. Right. And you know. <laughs> Uh, it, it was, you know, working with the caliber of actors, mm -hmm. it really made me have to step up my game, man. Right. Everybody on it was so just amazingly talented and, and, and uh, uh, by being an all-male show, basically. Right. You know, the element to it, too, because, you know, there's competition. Men like, mm -hmm. to eat, man, you know, so it's like, I ain't letting y'all leave me behind. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's all man taking it in with you all, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of fantastic cast, because uh -huh. you know, I know people will be mad at me if I didn't start talking about Abbott Elementary. Oh, you better, <laughs> man! Um, you know, you know this this little series, yeah, that turned out to be a hit series. Oh my god, that is just blowing up. I mean, brother, how did you get this gig, man? Um, first of all, my wife's a talent manager, mm -hmm. and, and she and my agent, you know, they sent me into this job actually no you know when i say sit uh, that's the term i use it was actually during the pandemic okay and we taped it and um there's a muscle that actors have to develop that that it takes a long time to develop and that's letting it go doing the audition and leaving it there not worrying about if you got the job or not you know mm -hmm. and, and i kind of forgotten about it you know and then uh, uh my wife told me she said you know you booked that job i'm like what job <laughs> you know she said the job uh, uh, about the school. And at the time, it had a different name. I said, Look, that little job, uh, I forget the lines that I, I, I you know, she had the line where she's got some big feet. She got some big feet. <laughs> and that was, that was basically the audition. And she said, Yeah, they want to see you. Uh, and um, so I went to wardrobe. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, uh, the lady in wardrobe, the wardrobe uh, uh, supervisor, she put the director on her her uh, video on her iPhone on video said he, the director wants to see you dance. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, we're right in the middle of getting, you know, me getting wardrobe and 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 and, and seeing uh, getting fitted. Right, right. To see you dance and uh, dance with your broom, dance with your mop. I'm like, oh man, wow, okay. And uh, next thing you know, they said, see you on set. You know, you know. And uh, that that's basically how it went. And then I, I forgot about it. And, uh, wow. you know, uh, we we shot it. Uh -huh. And you know, some things, they get picked up. Some things don't. You never know. Mm -hmm. I thought it was special. I thought it was really, really good. I read the whole mm -hmm. script. And mm -hmm. but I've done that with other other pieces. And they've never seen the light of day. Wow. And, uh, what do you think that is? I mean, what? extra special quality do you think this show has because i think this show is going to be on for a minute um the i mean and what i mean everybody i mean this is the black folk talking right here a minute is a long time minute, minute. yeah i know I yeah i know you know i'm talking about everybody oh, yeah, I, hope, I hope it's gonna be on a few minutes <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the the special quality is two words okay. quentin brunson quentin brunson man she mm. Sell her cash. She knew exactly what she wanted. Her vision, everything about it, has her fingerprints all over it. And she's such a smart, amazing young lady. I'm in awe of her every time I'm around her. Man, mm. she, she knows what she wants. She, uh, she, she, she's a boss. <laughs> she's, you know, that's another black term. She's a boss. She's you know? a boss. She's a boss. Real boss, man. And she's mm -hmm. cool. And uh, she's driven. You know, and 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 uh, she put together this this amazing cast, this amazing crew, uh, amazing staff of writers, and um, like I said, we knew it was going to be good. We knew mm -hmm. it was special, but not the phenomenon that it, I I didn't know what was the right. 
He's phenomenal. You just showing up. You just showing yeah. up every day yeah. with and this great cast, great direction. Right, great direction. And everybody, man, is such a cool set to be on. Okay. Everyone's so cool. Cast, crew, directors, writers, everyone is like a big family. I've mm -hmm. worked, like I said, I've worked a lot of gigs and and you know, you can tell if it's lip service or you know, people yeah. up, they hit their marks, say their lines and they move on. Right. Uh this is this is different. This is mm -hmm. real it has a familial type of uh feeling about it. You know? yeah. Well for those of for those of you out there that don't know or haven't heard, I mean, you came on the first season right. as, you know, this is just gonna be a little role, temporary yeah. few things. Well, we yeah. Then you blew up <laughs> and and they not only renewed your character for season two, but now you are a permanent part yeah. of the cast. Yeah, yeah. Your your mouth of God's ears. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you hear that? You hear that? You hear that, y'all? Yeah, man, um, you know, it's wow. It's been amazing. You know, it's it's uh to be some be be a part of something that's so phenomenally successful right. and moves people. It has a, a great storyline. Uh mm -hmm. it it has heart. You can watch it with your your grandkids or yeah. your parents and yeah. uh, you know, it's just is there a word bigger than blessing? A word better than you know? It's like divine intervention that all this came together. Man. Well, I look at that as the 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 only complimentary word for that is gratitude, right? Yeah. So you just you just receive it, yes, and you say thank you, yes, and you and you just keep moving on, right? You keep doing your best because it's obvious, yeah. man. You are just doing such an amazing job in this role. I mean, hilarious, but also it's funny. There's some truth. <laughs> and some realness in that character, right? Yeah. So, so though people there's some the, the comedy and all the laughter and that kind of thing, it's like Mr. Johnson shows up every day. Yeah, and he wants to make the school work for the kids. Absolutely, dedicated, loyal. He sees the vision of of not only what he does, but what the what the teachers and staff do. I mean, yeah. that's kind of like you know you and I growing up in our school systems. I mean, we knew a Mr. Johnson. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. You know, uh, some of this character, I I use some of the things. My Mister Johnson was a guy named Mister Glover. Ah. Mister Glover, man, he I never saw him when he wasn't working, but he had his ear and his eye, his ear to the ground, his eye on everything. He saw everything. Right. If a kid was sick and not feeling good, he knew mm -hmm. what was going on. You know, if somebody was in trouble, someone was a troublemaker, whatever. He had his, his finger on it. And I think he used his own resources back then. He used to have a truck. I told someone this too. He had a truck. I don't know if it was a B of E truck, Board of Education truck. Mm -hmm. He would he would be bringing books in and all types of things. I never saw this man not working. And so uh, wow. I tried to use some of some of his ethic uh, with Mr. Johnson. <laughs> Mr. Johnson. <laughs> this guy can have his own way of doing things, you know. Yeah, yeah. but it's gonna get him done. <laughs> what is that one line in one of the? You, you didn't turn the electricity on, did you? you know, I mean, and I busted out laughing, yeah. walking around yeah. in a dark school. Yeah. I'm like, man, you just you to. messed with the lights, didn't you, Janine? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and and the breaker switch, didn't you? You know. <laughs> yeah. Um. Now you know. I know the fans out there of the show mm -hmm. are wondering about season three. There's no new information out yet. About season two or season three? Season three. Uh, so anything out there that maybe you know that you know, you can tell a brother in the few, you know, thousand folks that said, no. <laughs> I want to keep my job. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I know, listen, I know it's going to be coming out. We'll probably, listen, yeah. you guys have a special chemistry and a and a unique i mean casts like this do not come around and shows like this do not come around that often right yeah. and where where as you said i mean listen my mother watches but also my 20 year old uh social media assistant also watches Great. so you've got this dynamic where it's just there for everybody yeah. and so you know i'm i'm hoping and wishing and affirming that Abbott Elementary is going to be here for a long time and that you will be there with them along the way. Mm -hmm. um, one last question for you. Um, 
you know, when I when I interview everyone, everyone has their own story, their own journey, mm -hmm. um, and special things that they've learned along the way to pursuing their dreams. Right. What are some words of wisdom you can share with people out here that that are like trying to get motivated or or moving in that direction? How you know? What are some words of wisdom you can share with them? Well. <clears throat> As I said about my grandmother, what she said to me, you got to really have the stick to it in this. Mm. Don't give up, you know, whatever, whatever your dream is, whatever your goal is. But specifically, if you want to be in this business, you, 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 you can't, first of all, you can't quit because you never know when it's going to happen. You, mm. You're always one no away from a yes. First mm. Study your craft. Get in a good workshop. Get in a, get a you know, do plays, do theater something that you're constantly working your craft, you're constantly working your instrument. And remember, it's not about the results. It's only about the work. Mm -hmm. It's only about the work. And once again, that's in every uh, a field, right. every field. It's only about the work. If I do great work, I'm going to have great results. Right. You know, you know if, I, if I just keep doing the work. And those are the things that I try to impart on my students or any time. Oh, I don't like to call them students because I don't consider it teaching. I consider it sharing. I share with, mm. shared with me, okay. you know, what's been shared with me. And I hope that it works for them like it's worked for me. Wow. Well, it's definitely working for you. And those are some lucky, I'll, I'll say, friends of yours who are who are you're sharing information with, because that's a great that's a great way to put it. Right. I mean, students mean the student denotes that they don't know anything. And it's like, no, they they've been around for a minute. Yeah, yeah. You're just showing them, a, showing them a better way of kind of doing some things or adding on some things, right? A couple of shortcuts here and there. A couple of shortcuts mean that there are no shortcuts, you know. Right, so let's right. Try, let's, let's try something different. Right. And, and and don't be afraid to fall on your butt. Yes. Not, about, yes. not, about, not about looking good. You can't be an actor if you're worried about looking good. Right. You got to be able to look like a fool sometimes. Mm -hmm. and, and, and don't be afraid to... Uh, to fall in your butt and make mistakes. Wow. Well, William, thank you so much for being on SoLiberty.com and sharing your story. Um, much continued success to you, not only with this series of Ad 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 um, Abbott Elementary, but in the future as well. So thank you again for being here, brother. Thank you for having me, my brother. <laughs> God bless to you. All right. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We want to thank you for watching Solivity.com's passion-driven interviews with founder Brian Wesley Johnson. From celebrities to best-selling authors, Solivity.com is all about inspiring you to live your dreams and create your best life today. We invite you to listen to our other fantastic interviews with new ones available every single week. Please also visit Solivity.com and start your journey toward your passion, your purpose, and higher quality living. See you next time. This work is subject to copyright owned by Affinity Global LLC. Any reproduction or republication of all or part of this audio is expressly prohibited unless Affinity Global LLC has explicitly granted its prior written consent. All other rights reserved.